Hi all. So as part of this video, uh, we will see like how we can create BigQuery transfers using client libraries. As part of this demo, I'm going to use Python client libraries. Okay. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay. So this is my use case. Actually, there are some prerequisites need to be discussed and then we'll move on to the demo. Okay. So I would like to copy a data set from one project to another project. Okay. That is my use case. I'll use BigQuery transfer, transfer service API, Python client libraries to create transfers. Okay. So actually to authenticate this transfer when you are using client libraries, you need to have a authentication process in place, right? For that, I would like to use service account. I'll create some new service account. And then I'll try to create a key for it. And then I'll download that credentials. And then by using those credentials, I will try to authenticate this process. Okay. So then I'll try to run the Python code. Okay. Then there will be some transfers will be created. Then we'll try to modify the transfers right then we'll see okay okay let's quickly move to the demo okay yeah right now i'm in my gcp console that will be query uh, right editor okay you can see these are the data transfers if there are any transfers already available those should be visible here i don't see any transfer available okay now i would like to create one transfer using my python client libraries okay so for that as i already told uh, i'll have to create a service account for authentication process okay? uh, before that let me show what i would like to do right here you can see there are two there are three GCP projects. If I go to this project, okay. So go to the BigQuery editor. You can see this project. You can see there is one data set available. As part of this data set, you can see four tables available right but uh, one table is an external table okay so if you try to copy this data set to other project so this external table will not be copied only there are three native tables will be copied to the destination data set okay now i would like to copy this data set to my other project okay so here I could see there are two data sets. Uh, I would like to copy that data set to this empty data set. You can see this is an empty data set I've already created. You have to create an empty data set to, to do that. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Okay. Now I have created this empty data set. Okay. Now let me go to my IAM console and I would like to create service account. Okay create and service account give a name BigQuery right transfer okay so this is an optional okay let me click on continue now you would have to give a role for it right so the role will be decided based on the task which we are going to perform right so I would like to create a transfer right to create BigQuery transfer, the required permission is BigQuery transfer update and create. So I think you can find these permissions available as part of BigQuery admin role, right? I don't think so BigQuery editor has this role. So let me give that role to this service account. Okay. Right, continue. No, these are the optional. I don't want to basically fill up anything. 
click on done okay now you can see this service account has been created okay now i have to create a key add a key for this right so let me do that add key create new key for this so this is a json file which will have that uh, key details in encrypted format right create then it will be downloaded to my local machine now i will have to perform this task from my cloud shell environment right i have to upload this json or credential file to my cloud shell environment so i'll do that okay so before doing that let me also explain one more thing right so now we have the service account created in my destination project this is my destination project in our demo right what is our source project our source project is this we are trying to read a data set from this source project so to read that even this service account which we have created just now need to have a necessary bigquery permission it needs to have at least a viewer permission on bigquery so let let me uh, grant that permission in my source project okay so that what i have to do go back copy this service account okay go to our source project right here i am right add the service account and give bigquery viewer role right so i think query that of your room save okay now this service account has the necessary permission on this source project and destination project the same service account has the bigquery admin admin to to create and update transfers in the source project at least it should have a bigquery viewer permission we have done that okay now let me enable my cloud shell environment okay there i'll try to upload my service account credentials file right let me open up in the window yeah now i would like to upload the cell that service account credential file here okay choose file go to the downloads this is the credential file open upload okay i think yeah yeah now i have that file uploaded here okay now let's move to the code right yeah this is that code okay copy data set from one project to other project right if you observe this code right here i have my destination project and data set name source project source data set then i have just configured my uh, transfer service right right this will have all the configuration which will create a transfer okay so i'll schedule it every 24 hours right so whenever you run this code it will just create a transfer right you can observe that in your google cloud console bigquery uh, window right so yeah so as i already told right we have to authenticate this process right this can be done using this particular command what i'm trying to do here is we have this google application credential environment available i would like to assign the value for it value is this because i have my credential file in this path 
So I would like to assign this value to my this environment variable. So whenever you run this code, right, then it will just read that file, then it will be done without any issue. Okay. And before that, before running this code, there is some Python module to be installed, right? So since we are using Google Cloud BigQuery Transfer Service API, Python API, right? That has to be installed. It's a prerequisite. If it is not there, you have to install using this pip install command. If it is already there, no issue. You don't have to do it, right? So let me do. Let me do this step. Now I have to change my file name. Right. This is the latest file. Okay, let me do that. Sorry. I've done that. Now let me run my if you don't follow this authentication process right it will it will throw an error actually now my transfer has been created let me go to uh, let me query data transfer and so click on that now you should see one transfer has been created let me go to my destination project transfers you can see this transfer has been created you can see this schedule because i have i've scheduled it on every 24 hours you can see the next schedule it is Today is 11, tomorrow is 12th, right? So it's scheduled at uh, 12th May 18.6. Okay, 6 6. But I would like to run it now. Let me modify this transfer. Now it is daily. Let me change it to on demand so that you can run right away. done now let me let me try to run this it will throw an error at this moment you can see fail to create transference because actually when we have created this transfer it has been scheduled every 24 hours right so it says it in already in, in flight right so that's why it's not allowing to run now just now we have edited it to run on on demand basis so it will take some time to reflect that change actually let's wait for some time then we'll run this transfer once again okay let me try to run once again it still says we'll have to wait for some more time yeah meanwhile in upcoming videos i would like to even uh, do more videos right uh, on the same concept like bigquery transfer service so in the next video what i will try to do is i will try to copy the entire bigquery project or project to other project okay i'll try to copy all the data sets which are available in the source project to the destination project by using command line so far we have seen through console we have tried we have created a bigquery transfer service using python client libraries we have created a uh, transfer service in upcoming video we will try to copy all the data sets using our command line tool bq tool okay okay let's see let's try to now you can see it has been backfilled and it has run okay now it has copied that data set from destination project to the source project. So to validate it, let us go to the 
uh, our BigQuery workspace, SQL workspace. Right? Click on this demo data set. You can see there are three tables copied from the destination project data set to the source project data set. Okay. So this is how you can use client libraries to create transfers programmatically. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video.